Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how you could create forms on EngageBay and get them added to your website. So there are two kinds of forms that we offer EngageBay, inline and pop-up forms. So let's see how we could create an inline form and how you could get that added to the website and the difference between an inline and a pop-up form, right? And how you create each of those. So let's first try to create an inline form. So to go to create an inline form, you go to inline forms and then choose to create an inline form, right? So these are the predefined templates that we offer. So you can pick from any of these or you want to build something from scratch. We have the custom option as well. So let's say I want to pick this particular template here, right? I can choose that. And if I want to change the text that I displayed here, I can change that from here. Right, so I can update my text. Right, and then if I want to change the description that you see here, you can change that from this section here. Right, based on what kind of description you want to show the, on the form, you can add that here. It's, uh, I mean, anything that you enter here is exactly what you would see on the form right and then you want to add an image to the form you can choose to enable it and choose the file or the image that you want to use and then you see a background image here you want to change that or turn it off you can certainly do that and then where do you want to position this the background image you want to show it on the top right the top left so these are the different options that you could choose from and then you want to change the look and feel like change the font family the font color or the background colors and then the size of the form right and then <clears throat> what color you want to see on this button here you can change that from here if you want to change the color of the text that you see here you can change that from here right so based so that it matches the look and feel of your website and then what kind of details you want to capture on the form right so on this particular form i'm only asking for the email address but you want to capture other details like their first name their phone number or any other detail that you see here, right? You can <clears throat> add those as fields to the form, including the custom fields that you created and saved on your account. You can choose those as well and get them, or there are some temporary fields as well. So you can pick from any of these and get them added to the form to capture those details, right? And then once somebody submits the form, you want to show them a success message. You can text, <clears throat> enter that here. You want to redirect them to another page. Once somebody submits the details on the form, you can put the redirection URL here. And then you want to send out an email notification to all your contacts, once somebody, or all your users on the account, once somebody submits their details on the form. Right? You can enable the option as well for them to receive emails when somebody submits, any, submits the details on the form. And then you want to enable double opt-in for all the contacts who subscribe to the form, fill out the details. You can do that. Then only once they opt in to receive communication from you, no further emails would be sent to them from the system. Especially for clients from Europe where GDPR is a big compliance, this would be a good option to use. And then if you simply want to send an auto response email thanking them for submitting their details, you can set that up from here. And all the contacts who fill out a certain form, you would be able to see them on the contact section of the form. So once you create an inline form and then customize it based on what kind of fields, the look and feel, right? And then the text that you want to add to the form. And once you save it, when you go back to that form that you created and saved on EngageBay, and when you go back to the settings tab, you would see an additional tab called Embed, where you would see the code corresponding to the form. So all you need to do is copy this piece of code and paste it on the back end of the page, based on which page of your website you want to show this form on. This form shows up on that page, and once somebody submits their details on the form, they would automatically be captured as contacts and save as contacts on EngagePay. So in addition to the embed code of the form, you would also need to add the API and tracking code corresponding to your account to the back end of your website for the form to show up on your website. So here's the code. So once you go to the account settings section on the drop down here, and then go to API and tracking code, you would see the code corresponding to your account. So you just copy this piece of code and paste it on the back end of your website, right? Along with the embed code for the inline forms that you create for these forms to show up on your website. So the API and tracking code is something that you would only install once, 
right, to your back to the website. But every time you create an inline form, you go back to that form, right, and then go to the settings tab to copy the embed code for that form and paste it on the page based on which page you want to show that form on. And once it's added, it would show up on your website based on which page you add the embed code. And you, once somebody submits their details, they would be captured as contacts. So you can either see the contacts that fill out a certain form on the contacts section of the form itself. When you go to settings and go to contacts, you would see all the contacts that filled out a certain form. Or you can always go to the main contact database and add a filter, right, to filter by source. So you would say inline form and then choose the name of the form. It's going to show you all the contacts which filled out a certain form that you added to your website. There we go. So this, these are the contacts that filled out this particular form that we have on our website. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.